Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about how to save money on food. Um, these days, the food prices are going up faster than prices of anything else we normally use, besides maybe gas. <laughs> well, it went up, but it doesn't go up as much anymore, but the food prices are continually going up and up again. So what can we do to save money on groceries? Um, first, that um, I've been always doing is checking the ads for sales. Uh, whether you get them to your house or you can just go online to a specific store and check uh, whichever store are either close to you or on your way to where you're going um, you can um, I mean I would want to go like extra out of my way just to save like a, just a couple of dollars because it's the time and gas might not be worth it but first I check the stuff on sale and if there's something I normally buy if it's on sale uh, I'll make sure I'll stop in that specific store on the way home and grab like whatever the items are on sale. So the store to, in my area that I checked the ads for that um, actually do ha have ads almost every week is the Smart and Final, Rallies, Grocery Outlet, uh, Food for Less. So I check those stores like every Wednesday they get the new ads. So around Tuesday or Wednesday. When the ad is ready, I'll check. I see what's on sale in those stores. Then, um, if there's something else I normally buy, but it's not in on good sale in those stores, I'll just go either to Grocery Outlet or Winco. So just go to like a cheap store in your area that might not be even um, like Winco is not even doing ads. Um, I understand for some people the cheapest store in your area is Walmart. Well, Walmart is not cheapest. If you have Winkle, um, it's like a, it it's usually, usually has a good prices on most things and probably that's why they don't even make the ad every week. Next is don't overbuy the foods that are perishable. It might end up being wasted. Generally, it's like the fruits and vegetables um, or the things that go in the fridge, like your juices. Well, if you really, really have to save money, you might not want to buy juices because they're like, more expensive than water <laughs> so yeah so those uh, foods that are going into your fridge generally um, they don't have uh, like uh, too much time to uh, be consumed um, I noticed with some things that um, like okay let's say if you have yogurt or sour cream if you open it then you um, it might go bad before even before the expiration date so like I try not to buy big containers of those, even though sometimes it's cheaper to buy one bigger container than two smaller ones. If it's only a little bit different, um, I'll buy two smaller ones because when it's when you open it, you have to use it within I think maybe a week or two. Otherwise, it might start going bad, even though it might not be expired yet. Next is um, use up what might spoil or expire so it, not, it doesn't end up being wasted. So check your food regularly and if it's something like um, some can or package that it's getting close to their expiration date um, that you think it might be bad if it goes past the expiration date, uh, set it in a specific place like somewhere in the box or in your counter where you can easily access it so whenever you plan your next meal um, you can try to incorporate those uh, foods into it so um, it will get used up and not end up being wasted. So the items that are in the fridge that um, getting close to their expiration date try to put it in the front of the fridge <clears throat> So it doesn't get forgotten in the back. Next thing, um, if you use uh, vegetables like that uh, frozen or canned, like maybe peas or corn, um, usually um, the corn, uh, not corn, um, usually those that are frozen end up being cheaper per pound because, okay, to make a pound of, uh, I researched it, to make a pound of uh, corn, you need two and a half cans. And if you can buy a pound of frozen corn for like between a dollar or a dollar fifty um, frozen, it's cheaper to have frozen than buying like two and a half than cost of two and a half or three cans. Um, it's cheaper to have frozen. But if you want to say save it for a long term, like let's say you want it to last, I don't know, two years or something, um, you better off buying canned because it will 
last longer than the frozen one. So if you want to buy like uh, some fruit for smoothies, like be some berries or something, um, those would be cheaper per pound frozen than the fresh ones. Because if you're going to blend it in a smoothie anyways, you might as well use frozen. Um, but the only thing that's cheaper fresh than frozen is bananas. That's what I noticed. So you just got to see whichever cheaper one per pound. Because if you're going to cook it or blend it, um, you might uh, you might just buy frozen if it's cheaper per pound than buying fresh or canned. The next one that I think saves the most money is try to cook cheaper meals more often. Um, just see whichever meals you cook. Like every person different cooks different meals. But let's say maybe you have like 10 different meals that you normally cook often. Um, see which ones are the cheapest for you. Because um, that same meal meals will be cheapest for same people. Because like... Some meals, like especially some soups, are cheaper, like really cheap for me because some of the ingredients um, I'm growing. So uh, for me to make some of the soups, uh, with adding the um, um, stuff with, that grows in my garden like year round, like either celery or sorrel or um, uh, green onions, um, it's cheaper for me to make those meals that use those ingredients um not too often because they need time to regrow so i could harvest them again but see which ones are cheaper for you to make and try to make those more often um instead of um making meals that um call for maybe uh, having lots of meat in it or some other ingredients that are more expensive expensive meat uh, meals are good for like special occasions like if you have like a, like people coming over or uh if you having like a birthday or something um i would save the more expensive meals for those occasions and like cheaper meals for like everyday things but generally uh making soups soups are the cheapest meals because you only need like a handful of meat and whatever vegetables you have especially if you make like lentil or bean soup um they end up it ends up really cheap because like half of it is water and uh, you know it ends up really cheap compared to the um rest of the uh meals so salads are also cheap if you can find the like cheap um like lettuce sometimes it's expensive so it's not worth me even buying it but if you um if you can come across something that's cheap, like sometimes cucumbers go on, go on good sale. So whichever ingredients you can find at a good deal, if you can do that. Um, and yeah, if it's cheap for you to make salad, salad is a good uh, um, cheaper meal too. Also for uh, work lunches or to-go meals that you take with you. Um, if you want to take something with you, some chips or pretzels or even cookies or something, uh, buy a bigger package and then put some um, to go in the small Ziploc bags. Like sometimes I buy chips and I put it in separated in the small servings like Ziploc bags. And okay, I might end up um, have, buying chips um, like for like a dollar ninety nine that's on sale a, a package that says price like four ninety seven on it. But sometimes when it's on sale, I I buy whatever the limit amount is and um then i'll open the package and like separate it in little ziploc baggies so me or my son will take it um to work and stuff so one um dollar 98 or dollar 99 package lasts us like i don't know like 10 servings or so to take with you instead of buying those little um little baggies and i think like 50 of them will cost you like 20 dollars <laughs> which is like way too much for drinks to go instead of like buying already um drinks uh at the store in small servings because you're not gonna bring like a two liter bottle with you right you're not gonna uh you don't want to drink that much in one day right especially if it's soda um so what i do like i buy like a 24 pack of like regular water and once we reuse those bottles to replace with our own drinks like i'll buy like a gallon of juice of orange juice or something if you want to take orange juice you just put some orange juice in there uh or i buy the i'll get those um 
powder mixes like you can buy um, Gatorade powder mix or other fruit punch kind of powder mix and you can just mix yourself a drink and keep on reusing the same bottle the only downside is you have to wash it really good but other than that it really saves you a lot of money and all you can just re um refill it with regular uh, drinking water from home that's even cheaper so saving money on food is not that complicated it, it does require some extra work like you know like you have to plan and think and watch the sales and try to see figure out which one is cheaper to use that you're still okay with doing also right now food is still cheaper than it's going to be like six months or a year from now so if you do have any extra money in your budget try to pick up a few extra foods uh, like that you can save for later that you can use later because i see a lot of foods that i bought maybe a year or two ago right now it's a lot more expensive like maybe 20 30 50 percent more expensive or some of them you go to the store like um I remember I was buying this and this like every month or so. Now I go to the store, it's re it's not even there. Like the, some of the canned meat I used to buy, it's not even there. It's re replaced by some like ramen, weird Asian ramen thingies. But, you know, <laughs> too expensive to buy anyways. So it's like some of the food is just disappearing. It get, it's getting replaced by some we other weird stuff. So try to buy whatever you can now to put away for later because it's cheaper to buy it now still. Um, then um, you would have to you would still have to buy something to eat like six months from now but if you buy it today it's cheaper than buying it six months from now so what other tips do you guys have for saving money on food that hopefully doesn't require too much extra work or time because we're all busy and pressed for time and by the time we're done with all the work you know i don't know how about you guys my body is still able to run around and move but my brain is fried at the end of the day so and this allergy season is starting my eyes are not liking it so if it might look like i'm crying or something i'm not it's just i'm getting allergies <laughs> thanks for watching guys put your comments down below to help others to save money on food if you can because we all need that whether we do or don't have some extra money and if we do have some extra money like we can uh, use it to um, buy some extra food to save for later and prepare for later because who knows, the food may be more expensive, which is more likely to be or might not even be there. Thanks for watching. Oh. Shoo! You're always here.